Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at the Ethereal Edge Silver Edged Axe. And the Ethereal Edge Silver Edged Axe is actually kind of unique because it is one of the very few items in the game that has the ability to spawn indestructible and ethereal. It is actually a mechanic specifically designed around this particular item. Uh, there are very few other items in the game that can actually spawn ethereal and indestructible. And, uh, and instead of listing them, um, why don't you guys tell me what other items can actually spawn ethereal and indestructible? Uh, because I'm going to go over them eventually anyway, and we can make this a little fun game. Um, I'm trying my best not to say the names because they're popping into my head as I speak. So the Ethereal Edge uh, Axe is utilizing the very nice Ethereal bonus to give you an increased damage on this particular weapon. And as you can see, it's 173 to 308 damage at level 74, which is maybe a little bit low. Uh, it does have Dexterity of 65 and a uh, Strength Requirement of 166, which is relatively high. And uh, for some reason, mine is not Ethereal. Why is my Ethereal Edge Axe not Ethereal? We're going to have to fix that. I'll be right back. There we go. Fixed it through the magic of YouTube. So here we go. We've got uh, 260 to 462 damage, which is relatively high. Uh, we have a 55 dexterity, 156 strength, level 74 requirement. It is a fast attack speed, which is because it does have the 25% increased attack speed bonus on it, which is relatively nice. Um, I would definitely be kind of sad if it didn't have any increased attack speed. Uh, we also have a enhanced damage of 150 to 180 percent it's a little bit of a variance there uh, with 350 to attack rating which varies from 270 to 350 uh, so a lot of variables on this uh, we also have a damage to demons which varies from 150 to 200 percent which will function very similarly to the way might works uh, which means that this will do a relatively high amount of damage to demons um, and can be combined with other such items, like, for instance, uh, Laying of Hands, which can give you another bonus to demons. Um, and you could also put on something like, I believe, Chains of Honor gives a small bonus to demons, and so forth and so on. And uh, you could really stack up the demon damage with this particular item. Uh, we also have a uh, 12 Fire Absorb on this, which does vary from 10 to 12 percent. Or, sorry, not percent, sorry, 12, 10 to 12 which is flat. So that means if you have a, a fire attack come in that is literally doing, say, 100 damage, it will take 12 off of that, and then it will heal you for 12 also. So it's very nice. Uh, we also have 10 to life after each demon kill. So it seems to be very specifically focused around demons, uh, and it does vary from 5 to 10. It's not a huge amount of life, but it definitely is nice to have some extra life as well. Now, of course, it is ethereal and indestructible, which means we can socket it with something that will actually increase the damage. Uh, maybe we would throw a burr rune in there for some extra crushing blow, or maybe we would just put a shale rune in there so that it's faster. Or perhaps we could uh, we could put something else in there, like, for instance, a, um, a pull rune for some more damage to demons. Why not? Just really stack on the demon damage. Who knows? Uh, whatever it is that you're trying to do, you're definitely not going to put a Zod in there because it's already indestructible. That would just be cursed. And, uh, and who makes cursed videos? That would just be terrible. Nobody should be making cursed videos. But let's go ahead and we'll put a Burr Rune in there for some crushing blow. So we'll have 20% crushing blow. And let's go play around with this item versus some demons. So uh, I know one demon in particular I like to pick on on a regular basis, and that is Eldritch the Rectifier. Uh, I think his name is funny. Uh, now we're probably going to use this in a, uh, a, a whirlwind attack. So let's just go ahead and give ourselves some shouts here. And let's see what kind of damage we can output versus these demons. Um, now this is players one, and uh, it doesn't really look like we're doing an insanely large amount of damage. Of course, we are we are slowed because I took off his Raven Frost. You see, we already managed to kill one of them. I mean, according to our uh, combat screen, we have, what, uh, 1,565 to 2,781? I mean, it is a relatively high damage item, but it's not like it's going to be the best item that you've ever put on for a certain character. Um... I definitely am not really super impressed with any special ability that this thing has other than just damage. And there are other items in the game that I feel like have more damage. 
Um, it is a kind of a fast weapon, though, and it could potentially be used for a druid. Um, I feel like the increased attack speed combined with perhaps a shield rune could make it fast enough that if you found this, it could make a stopgap weapon in between, um, you know, getting yourself something better. Um, all in all, like, I really feel like the Silver Edged Axe kind of fails at its one redeeming characteristic, which is the highest, you know, damage that it can possibly put out. Because otherwise, why would you do Ethereal plus, um, you know, the ED plus the Demon Damage and so forth and so on? I mean, if we take a look at, for instance, the Minotaur Axe, which is not Ethereal, and we compare it to the Minotaur Axe, the Minotaur Axe is slower, granted, but the damage of the Minotaur Axe is almost as high as the Silver Edged Axe. And, uh, and, that's, and that's kind of silly, considering that the Minotaur Axe is not even trying to really compete in that category. Um, and if we take the Ethereal Zotted version, the Ethereal Zotted version has more damage than the Silver Edged Axe. Uh, it has 290 to 588 versus the 260 to 462. I think somewhere along the lines, they just really didn't quite make it enough. Now, granted, you could also put a 15% 40 jewel in here to really beef up the uh, the damage a little bit higher, which would bring that 180 to, uh, what is that, 40 plus 80, so 8, 9, 10. So 220% uh, ED is what it would bring it to, which would be a little bit more in line with uh, something like the Minotaur, which is at 200%. Um, and might actually bring it a little bit above the Minotaur, uh, and, uh, and still with a faster attack speed to boot. Because that's really the thing about the Minotaur, is that it's very slow. Whereas the uh, Ethereal Edged Axe is actually kind of a faster weapon, a much faster weapon. Now, of course, you could use this in a, uh, a Concentrate um, for 2,477 to 4,400. And, of course, you get the double damage on top of that. Um, it's not exactly a terrible weapon. It's just not the best weapon. I think that's really, I think that's really the issue with this, is that they tried to do something special. They really did try to do something special, and I can see what they tried to do here. And basically, what they tried to do was they tried to make an ethereal item, which was automatically indestructible, which of course you could then socket within another item, and uh, and hopefully have something that would be absolutely amazing. But what they ended up doing was they balanced it too much. I feel like they, they took a little bit too much time and they tried to figure out what the balancing would be um, and, uh, and, and they kind of messed it up. What they probably should have done was they probably should have created the item without the idea of, of it being permanently ethereal um, and then made it ethereal and indestructible and then kind of like looked at what the damage could possibly be. Because I feel like as it is, uh, it probably needs a little bit more ED. Um, the damage to demons isn't really as good as uh, as it needs to be. Part of the problem with damage to demons is it functions as off weapon ED. If it if damage to demons functioned as on weapon ED when it was on a weapon, this would literally be the best weapon to use against demons, like bar none. But because it functions as off weapon ED, it's not as good. Um, it's essentially the same thing as running a might aura. Um, and you can you can very easily go to an Act 2 Mercenary, hire an Act 2 Mercenary, and they usually have about level 20 Might, which is 200% increase. And you can see that, that a, a Might Aura is a far less powerful bonus than the on-weapon ED of the 180%. Hmm... So let's talk about one more thing, uh, which is where you could potentially find this item if you would want to. Now, I've seen this item drop a lot, and, uh, and I don't think you'll particularly have an issue finding the Silver Edged Axe. Uh, but the Silver Edged Axe does drop from some very specific places with higher percentage. So let's go to those uh, places, and we'll see where we could find the Silver Edged Axe, or the Ethereal Edge, sorry, the Ethereal Edge Axe together. Bink. And we're going to go to Silo's Pen, and we're going to look specifically for the Ethereal Edge Axe, which is right here. And we're going to look at bosses first. So let's take a look at bosses and what bosses have a highest probability of dropping this. Um, so it looks like, to me, Mephisto in Hell has the highest probability of dropping this axe. So if you if you kill Mephisto in Hell repeatedly, you will probably get yourself a uh, uh, Ethereal Edge. Diablo and Bale also have really good chances, as well as Neolithak in Hell Difficulty. Uh, even Radamant and Iswal have pretty good chances to drop this item. Quite interesting. 
Um, and as far as super uniques go, uh, Neolithak, Battlemade Serena, Icehawk Riftwing, Bonebreaker in the Crypt. He's a fairly easy one to farm. Uh, Fang Skin and Claw Viper Temple level 2. Uh, let's see. Ancient Call of Solace. He's a little hard to farm, though. And uh, Grand Visor of Chaos, Infector of Souls, and Lord Day Seas. Those are all relatively easy to farm. Eldritch the Rectifier has a pretty good chance there. Shank the Overseer has a pretty good chance. I back the Unleashed. These are all extremely easy to farm. Uh, Doc Farron, extremely easy to farm. Uh, Thresh Socket is very easy to farm. Uh, so quite a large number of monsters this can potentially drop from uh, with relatively good drop chance as well. Interesting. So this particular item, the Ethereal Edge, really did have kind of like a special purpose in mind and the developers did really kind of put some thought into it but i think at the end of the day they didn't really quite think about it enough the fire absorb is certainly interesting the indestructible mechanic is certainly interesting and it is a faster weapon than a minotaur so it's definitely interesting to at least point out the fact that it's about as much damage as a minotaur with also having the the speed calculated to it and since it is ethereal and indestructible you can socket it with a shale rune if you need to to increase the attack speed even further and it would make a pretty decent shapeshifter weapon because of it um hmm. not really sure what to say about this particular axe other than it's it seems like it would be a good stopgap weapon in between something else so like if you found this and you didn't have anything better it would probably be really good for a little while until you got yourself a more permanent weapon um, it's probably not going to be your end game weapon and you're probably not going to build your character around it but it's still going to be a nice weapon should you have found it and it does seem like it could be a very interesting weapon for building damage to demons so if you wanted to build like the highest damage to demons build possible because this does have 200 percent damage to demons on it already if you stack that with for instance laying of hands gloves which have 350 percent and then armor and helmet and and any other options that you could possibly get that also have enhanced demon damage uh, you might be looking at some pretty amazing percentage bonus to demons anyway as always i do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos and uh, even when they are on a axe that you can barely see <laughs> and as always keep watching